In the early 20th century, modern Western industrial civilization and commercial trade rapidly infiltrated Chinese society. People were studying Western technology, political institutions, and ideology and culture, which triggered comprehensive changes in Chinese economy, politics, lifestyle, and modes of thinking. As a result of the commercial blossom and the overwhelming power of Western culture, the female image in advertising, especially in print, changed greatly with the rapidly developing society. In the early 1910s, Chinese women began to have self-awareness on a cultural level. In art, the figures became flat, their expressions were serious, and this was directly in contrast with traditional painting. In the early 1920s, along with thoughts of women's liberation, the new concept of equality of men and women came from the West. Figures of progressive women appeared. Umbrellas, books, and watches were decorations. Oval face, fair skin, curved eyebrows, single-fold eyelids, flat chests. Then, the gorgeous modern new women with silk stockings, filibags, vermilion borders, and perms began to appear. The bodies of women gradually became a way of expressing property and value of products. The meaning of sex of women disappeared gradually and was replaced by value in a commercial society. Following this, the awareness of sport and fitness began to appear. In the early 1930s, the appearances of women in posters were tall, well-rounded, sexy, and mature. They have strong, visible bones, solid noses, more dynamic lips and eyes, and bony arms and legs. The figures are charming, their bodies are curvy, their characters are open and dynamic. The natural breast movement became more relevant in 1927. Use one dollar to buy a raunchy advertisement. The more you buy, the more we offer. In 1934, international economic panic led to the revival of motherhood in America and European countries again. Late 1930s into the 40s, modern women were looked at as though they needed men in order to maintain luxury lifestyles. It's an oversimplification that women figures become modern, emancipatory, and free. However, it's a necessary process when a phenomenon arises. The changes in women figures during the Republican period in Shanghai are the epitome of the process of modern feminism in China and Europe. 